What's up guys, got a little unboxing here again. Uh, Smith & Wesson, yes, another Smith. Um, I had to, I had to have a sidearm for my Smith & Wesson AR-15. And uh, what better way to go than uh, with the M&P. So, I got a Smith & Wesson M&P and I'm gonna show it to you here real quick. I'm gonna do a little unboxing, slash whatever. My battery's running low, see if it doesn't die on me. M&P, what could you say to Smith & Wesson? Uh, I know not all Smith & Wessons are great. Uh, speaking, um, not from experience, but from, you know, word of mouth, that the Sigmas are uh, lemons, and that, well, maybe not a lemon, but that their trigger is like a 12-pound trigger. It is a double action only. Uh, these striker-fired guns are considered double action anyways. So, uh yeah it's a little 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 addition uh let's take it down real quick see if uh see if we could take it down uh i didn't i know i'm gonna dry fire these guns uh, i'm not gonna worry about dropping that sear or whatever you call it a little green thing there there the little you're supposed to drop that down so you don't have to dry fire uh, i don't know if that's gonna damage the weapon anyway but that's the way i'm gonna do it so comes with the stainless steel guide rod stainless steel that's got some teflon coating on there that's going to come off uh, a barrel pretty thick barrel uh standard m you know nine millimeter barrel uh, nice weapon um You can tell I'm neither of these things, aren't they? Aren't I? It's real uh, Sig-like, Glock-like, but it's got its own little flair. Um, I like the serrations on on this gun. The serrations are real grippy. They work really nice. I like the trigger guard. Looks good on this gun. It it flows with the gun. The palm swells. I love those those palm swells here. Um, they're they're real nice. You can change them. It's got the medium. Um, I was prob I'm probably gonna get the large on here, but the medium right now feels kind of good uh, because it flows really nice. And I like the beaver tail on this thing. I think this beaver tail is really gonna give me a lot of traction. It's gonna give me really, really good traction. Um, the it's nine millimeter holds 17 rounds. Comes with two magazines, and you know. Two more back straps, um, spent casing, whatever. I've talked about the spent casings. I don't think it's the exact casing. Uh, no big deal. Uh, it's got a cock, you know, loaded chamber indicator. I guess you can see the brass uh, little peephole right there. Ambidextrous slide catch, slide release. The trigger on this thing's really really nice. I want to say this trigger is about four and a half, close to five, not quite, four and three quarter trigger. And the reset is right there. I'm still new to these kind of guns, but right there. You don't hear it click. Yeah, I guess it clicks very little. No big deal. Uh, I had to have a sidearm for my Smith & Wesson AR-15. Uh, call me what you want. But yes, I am a gun nut. And uh, I make up reasons for buying guns of certain certain guns. <laughs> uh, let's see how this thing fits with my TLR. Uh, if I could get it on there. There we go. This is a TLR uh, 3. It's not the one. Uh, they didn't have the one when I went to buy this one. Uh, so. So I got the three. Probably going to get the one also. I like it. I like the one. It's a little bigger. Uh, you can have it further up to the front. And uh, your. Um, the on button. Will still be more closer to the trigger. Um, so. 
it'll be easy access you know you'd be here and you could access it with your thumb real easy I'm uh, sorry for my nails being real dirty guys I work my ass off and I don't care about that kind of stuff and if you care about that kind of stuff well I'm sorry but that's just my nails will be dirty from time to time I don't I don't I don't consider myself a, a maintenance nail or kind of guy whatever you want to call it I don't <laughs> I don't do that kind of stuff I don't you know whatever um, three dot site real nice real nice um, just a quick look guys uh, maybe I'll make a shooting video with it later um, and uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes uh, no safety on this one so little quick video hopefully you like it and uh, leave some comments and let me know what I could do to make my videos better sometimes I know they're just kind of random and I rush through them a little bit and sometimes I take my time and when I do whatever just give me some feedback uh, let me know what you think of my you know sidearm for my Smith & Wesson AR-15 uh, it's a 9mm I have a lot of 9 and I sold my Glocks some of them I sold some of my Glocks they were 9mm and I didn't have a 9mm so this one's it and uh, got a 9mm Smith & Wesson a 40 you know this this is my Glock that I have left uh, besides my Glock uh, 30 so this is in 40 and then I got my Glock 30 which is 45 ACP so um, eventually I want to get the Glock 19 I don't know I might just buy a barrel we'll see but uh, alright guys it's gonna be my little quick Smith & Wesson video hopefully you like it uh, let me know what you think alright thank you See you later. Stay safe and stay armed.